Okay. Tim is choosing between two cell phone plans that have the same amount of free minutes. Senior plan charges $39.39 per month with additional minutes costing $0.45. Cents. So this is going to be our starting number and this is going to be our growing number. And you're going to use GX plus S. So we have 4.45 times a minute, and I'm just going to use X for my minute, plus 39.99. That's going to be my monthly fee in it. So I'm going to pay $39.99 a month, but then every additional minute is going to run up the bill $0.45. Cents. Verizon's plan costs $44.99. That's your starting number. With additional minutes costing $0.40, cents, that's our growing number. Okay, how many additional minutes will take for the two plans to equal? So we're going to solve this for X. Eventually, this is going to catch up with this because each minute is more. So the first thing we want to do is combine our numbers. We're going to move the number over. So we're going to subtract 39.99. We'll get 0.45X equals 0.40X. And then this is just going to be 5 bucks in it, plus 5. Now I'm going to move over my 40X, 40 cents X. And I'm going to get, put a minus here, net 45 cents minus 40 cents is 5 cents equals $5. Divide by 0 0.05. And you're going to end up with 100. So X equals 100 minutes. So at 100 minutes, the two plants will cost the same amount of money. Okay, container A has 200 liters of water and is being filled at a rate of 6 liters per minute. This is our starting number. This is our growing number. We're going to use GX plus S, aren't we? Okay, so we're going to have 6X plus 200. Okay, container B has 500 waters and is being drained. If it's being drained, it's going to be a negative growing number in it. So this is our growing number. This is our starting number. How many minutes will it take for the containers to have the same amount of water? We're going to equal them. And so this will be negative 6x plus 500. Okay, so we want to group the letters first, then combine the numbers. So I'm going to move my 6x over. I'm going to get 12x plus 200 equals 500. Okay, so I just moved, I added the 6x across. I got 12x plus 200 equals 500. Going to move the 200 over. Key on this is to get that negative growing number because you're draining the water. So we're going to get 12x equals 300. Agree? Because 500 minus 200 is 300. Divide by 12. Okay, x is going to end up being 25 minutes. So at 25 minutes, the two buckets will have the same amount of water. Ho, 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 ho. A full 355 milliliter can of Coke is leaking at a rate. If it's leaking, that's a negative, right? At 5 millimeters per minute, that's our growing number. And this right here is our starting number. So we're going to have, and we're going to use GX plus S. This eventually turns into MX plus B, doesn't it? It's a little bit easier to talk about your growing and starting. Okay, so we're going to have negative 5X plus 355 equals... How long will it take for the two cans to have? There's no other can. Okay, into an empty can. So the empty can is going to be zero. So the empty can will be zero. So we're going to move over the 355. So negative 5x equals 355. Then divide by negative 355. Divide by negative 5. And we'll get x equals to 71. Okay. So at 71 minutes, wow, that's a lot of time. At 71 minutes, the two cans will have the same amount of, of Coke.